Hey guys, Josh Henkin here, creator of the DVRT Ultimate Sandbag Core Training System. What I want to cover today is basically how you can utilize some of our foundational lifts to a higher degree. Some people in their rush to progress in some of these movements really miss out on the great components that uh, these movements offer. So what am I talking about? Let's say example the bear hug squat, one of my favorite exercises and yet people rarely do it and they rush right through it. So let's go over the bear hug squat really quickly. What I love about it is it keeps you in a very vertical trunk alignment, which means if you've had a lot of little back issues, it's going to be a lot more back friendly. It also makes you, because of the front position, make you sit on your heels. It's very hard to fall forward in this position. So again, it's going to be easier for those of you that have had knee issues. For those of you that just don't feel comfortable squatting, you're going to feel far more comfortable because it's going to put you in a better alignment to get in a deeper squat. So let's get to it. So I'm going to cradle the bag underneath, bring it up to my chest, locking in my upper back, nice deep squat, and drive up. Let's do one more. Pull the shoulders back, elbows in the ribs, down. Nice, see how nice, nice tall position I am? And drive on up. Now, that's about as far as anyone ever goes in this lift. I'm going to give you several different ways and you can manipulate it to get more out of it because it's a great lift to use all the time. For one is we're going to add a pause. So the longer the pause we add at the bottom, the more we dissipate momentum and the more of our hamstring glutes we have to use when we come on up. So scoop back up. So instead of just rebounding right from here, go one, two, three, four, drive on up. Now when I do that, I want to keep tension on my upper back at that bottom. Down. One, two, three, four, drive back up. You're going to find it's a lot more fatiguing because you're not using momentum in the movement. So the same weight can feel much more challenging. Number two is you can add what we call an extra quarter movement into it. So for example, I'm going to come down all the way, up a little bit, back down up all the way. So again, we're using the same weight. Weight in, pull down. Come up a little bit, back down, up all the way. So I come down, up, pause, down, drive on up. So that one and a quarter is really gonna tax those legs really quickly. But again, awesome because it's gonna keep you in good alignment and it could get you more out of your ultimate sandbag. Third is you can add a little more motion. So we're gonna add more acceleration. This is generally good if you're using a lighter ultimate sandbag to go into a hop. So we don't wanna use so much weight where we feel like we can't come off the ground because it's the weight coming down. When you land back down the ground, we make sure you don't put too much uh, stress to the knees. So, again, bag back up, down, hop, 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 hop. So what's happening is my legs are having to project more weight to actually get my whole body to come off the ground. And because I'm loaded extra with the ultimate sandbag, it's gonna be even a little bit more challenging. So, awesome drill to do. One more, I recently wrote this for uh, men's health. It uh, comes from the Soviet method using what we call dynamic isometrics. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and add pauses to each section. So let's look at it. So we're gonna come down, hold. One, two, three, four. Down, one, two, three, four. Down, one, two, three, four, and accelerate back up. Now, that's really exhausting. So you're gonna do that anywhere from two to four reps. Usually good to do at the end of your sets when you're really fatigued. So, you can see that within these ultimate sandbag exercises, there's far more options than most people ever utilize. So understanding the components of both how to do the exercise right and the principles behind the DVRT system will allow you to get far more out of your fitness. So check us out more at dvrtfitness.com.